Let's calculate the integral that appears on screen. We can observe we have an integral of a polynomial over a polynomial. Um, that's called a rational function. One option, as the grade of the numerator is the same as the grade of the denominator, this means the grade of the numerator is equal or higher than the grade of the denominator. So, what we do is divide the numerator by the denominator, although, in this case, we are going to use a simple method. Let's observe, on top we have a x, and underneath we have x plus 5. To solve this, we must add to this x 5. So we add 5 to the x, because we want by the face. So you take away 5 to compensate, and it would be as if you had done nothing, because 5 minus 5 is 0. So we have the initial expression. What do we gain with this? Well, you gain, you gain the following. If you separate, um, let's erase this thing so that they don't get in the way. This would be the same as x plus 5 over x plus 5, take away 5 over x plus 5. And now we separate it in two different integrals. Because the integral properties state you can do it. This would be um, the integral of the first, take away the integral of the second. This would be the integral of x plus 5 over x plus 5. Um, and something divided by itself is 1. So take away the integral of 5 over x plus 5. Integral of 1 of a function that when you do its derivative it gives 1, its integral is x. Take away from here you take out this 5. And we can observe now we have a first degree polynomial in the denominator which is which is its derivative is 1. And we have it in the in the numerator. So using the logarithm formula, if the derivative of the denominator appears in the numerator, it's the Neperian logarithm of the absolute value of t plus c. So we would have x plus 5 times Neperian logarithm. This is because we have the derivative of the denominator in the numerator of x plus 5 plus, v plus c. This will be the answer to the initial operation.